Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us to be good to our parents, especially the mother. Many a times Muslims are blamed or Islam is blamed to be not giving rights to the woman. I say if you come to know the true rights of women in Islam, you would wish, as a man you would wish to be a woman. Second, second you would wish that you knew this before you were blaming Islam. For example, the Prophet ﷺ said, according to the hadith mentioned, in Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2850, the Prophet said, when a person came to the Prophet and he asked, O Prophet of Allah, who deserves my attention? Who deserves my obedience? Who deserves my help? The Prophet said, your mother. He asked, O Prophet, who after my mother? The Prophet repeated, your mother. The person asked the third time, O oh Prophet, who after my mother? The Prophet said, your mother. The Prophet repeated three times, your mother deserves your time, your attention, your obedience, and your work with her, your help with her. The person asked the Prophet the fourth time, O oh Prophet, who after that? The Prophet said, your father. You know, me being a father at home, and my wife being a mother, when we read this saying of Prophet Muhammad, my wife just looks at me with that jealous eye, that see, how lucky I am by being a woman in Islam. And I unfortunately being a poor father, you know, have only one part of the attention of my children. If you were to know this teaching of Islam, instead of not just blaming Islam of being a threat, you would be the one standing for the women's rights that are propagated by Islam. Furthermore, you would have to stand for, when you call for equality between men and women, you may have to start talking about men's rights in Islam. Because so many rights women have in Islam that the women feel more obliged to be a woman in Islam than a man. I was recently in one of the Muslim countries in Saudi Arabia. Believe me, when you go there, if you are a woman, you have a privilege for everything. You stand in a bank queue of 50 people, you are a woman, you walk through. You stand in a, you know, uh, in a queue in the airport, at the airport, in a queue of 20 people, you are a woman, she walks through. You stand in a McDonald's trying to buy the food, you know, there are 100 people waiting in the queue there. The woman, she just walks through. You wish, you wish you were a bloody woman at that time. <laughs> I say, is this teaching of Islam and teaching of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is this a threat to the world peace? Prophet Muhammad further says in the book of Hadith mentioned in An-Nisai, Hadith number 223, the Prophet says that the paradise lies beneath the feet of the mother. And beneath the feet of the father, there's just nothing. My point here is, are these teachings a threat to the system of our life?